Before we go on, let's think about degrees of freedom. So before we uh, do a fitter model, we should think about how many degrees of freedom for error we expect, so that when we actually fit the model in R, we can check to see whether it's done what we expected it to do and we kind of understood things properly. Okay, so we're going to fit a model with two continuous explanatory variables, the weight and the abdomen variables. How I was taught to figure out degrees of freedom was to take one degree of freedom away for the kind of total uh, model and then one away for each continuous explanatory variable. Okay, so one for the model, uh, we've got two continuous explanatory variables, so that's three degrees of freedom we'll lose in a way. We've got 252 individuals in this study, so that would be 252 minus 3. So 249 degrees of freedom for error is what we expect to have. That's how I was taught, um, kind of like, well, why do we take one away for the total? And why does a continuous variable have one degree of freedom? Um, so what, the way I think about this now, and a way that maybe you prefer to think about it, is we take away from the total number of individuals the number of parameters, which is another word that's the same as coefficients, the number of parameters and coefficients that we estimate. So that means we need to think about what is the kind of equation, what is the model that we are fitting to the data here. It's a model with two continuous explanatory variables and, and an intercept. So it actually looks like this. I wrote it out. It's um, y equals a plus b x1 plus c x2. And I've not included the error term. There should be an error term there. Now, y is the response variable, so body fat here. x1 is one of the continuous explanatory variables, so that could be weight. And x2 is the other continuous explanatory variable, so abdomen. Now, a is the intercept. So that's the value of y when x1 and x2 are 0. It's the intercept. B is the estimated slope for x1, that variable. And C is the estimated slope for x2. So when we fit this model to the data, we're estimating three parameters. The intercept, the slope for x1, and the slope for x2, that's the three green underlined symbols here. The red underlined ones are the variables. Uh, the green ones are the parameters or coefficients. So we've got three parameters estimated, three coefficients estimated. And so we just take three away from 252, and again we get 249. It's, um, it's a different way of calculating or getting the expected number of degrees of freedom. Um, I find it a little bit easier, but you kind of have to figure out what works best for you. But generally speaking, we get the number of degrees of freedom for error by subtracting from the total number of observations the number of parameters we're estimating. Super.